recording has started. I can't trust this thing to save its life. So many things between the microphone, the headset, and coordinating VR sketch and all that. It's actually running at a good frame rate. I got Gajin right here. He's going to punch him right in the eye. Look at him. I'm Tommy. No, what was the kid's name? Tommy. That used to hang around with Power Master Optimus Prime. The larger I make it, the more light comes in. See? You see? Shaded by the sun. But Prime's going to run right up on him. Punch him in the face. I love like how he's like the size of, I don't know, a dog. <laughs> In front of me and now he's the size of the actual toy he's stabbing grand he's stabbing grand maximus it's getting him good so i just wanted to take you through my models and show them how they look like paper craft and how they look really good and that you can have fun with my models despite the errant green lightning bolts that i don't know how to get how they got here and here we have this model took me a week to do this model was not fun to do for i'm mildly a fan of Piranacon. He's a more fun character in Beast Wars Second, I'll give him that. Because of the the female the female one on the team. The and the turtle is pretty badass. But I tried to make him as authentic as possible. Trypticon over here. And then we have Omega Supreme. Let's go in his face. Hey, 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 we're in your face. We're in the little command center. Oh, there's your eyes. See how it has like this almost charcoal colored pencil. It has like a paper craft look to it. Looks so much better. I love it. Here's the Dinobots kicking butt, literally. I always like to zoom in on Swoop. Hey, Swoop, don't see nothing. Okay, this Swoop, Sludge. See how the light comes in? As soon as you get it up to like 200, the light comes in. All right, can I go fishing? Come on, get me over there. Where am I? I'm under Metroplex. I'm behind Metroplex. Yeah. Let's just shrink this down. It's easier to navigate this way. It's firing. Trypticon. I didn't make this model. Paul Manning made this model. I, I augmented it. Uh, he made this model too, but I I, I, I I had to practically rehaul the whole, overhaul the whole thing, make it uh, a brand new model. It's more my model than it is his at that point. That Metroplex is all his. That's why I never really worked with Metroplex because I didn't have his his models look like War Within models. But let's shrink it. Come over to Ruination. he is his ruination put a lot of detail into his eyes but even though ruination's a city on unto himself i shouldn't have okay <clears throat> so here we have power master optimus prime going up against god jinrai look at how tiny i think that's the scale how tiny God he is to him. I po I made this pose, and you'll see it in a lot of my models. This double sorted pose. I, I just there's no better pose for him. There really isn't, other than him getting struck or whatever, struck down. Here we have. Oh, there we are. No, we gotta. Yeah. There he is. He's flying overhead. What the hell's his name? Die Atlas, God Atlas, King Atlas, that's his name. Over here we have Hubcap. These are these are recent additions. I put in Hubcap. My name is Hubcap. Sea Spray. They're just hanging out on Fortress. Six Knight. Getting his target on. There's a lot going on here, guys. We got Skylinks over here. What else we got? There's Raiden. There's Skylinks. Look at that. It looks like a paper graph model. Looks so good. I never bothered to fill this in. I was lazy. I didn't enjoy. I didn't enjoy making this model because I had to go back and refurbish it. I had to uh, uh, 
This is the second model. I made a bunch of new models for this year, or last year, 2018, and he was like the second one. And I wanted to move on to other things. Here we have Thunder Clash. Oh, we got the light now, being at the top. Cool. Yeah, there's Thunder Clash. He's making authentic size. Oh, that's a little big. Oh, that's a little small. There it is. It's like authentic size right there. And then I can zoom him down. It's incredible. The word you're looking for, gentlemen, is incredible. Up here we have Fortress. This is the top part. He's with Fortress. Who's a fortress unto himself? And then we come over here. We have. I just retooled this model. I, this was a long time coming. I made, I made his bread box bigger, or his bread basket, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I pushed out this geometry, made it look more like the comic, the G2 comic from Japan. Gave him more of a muscle, muscly. And I couldn't figure out what to do with the gun, so I just made it a transtector or whatever the hell it is. Target Master. I think it looks better that way. Optimus. He's back, because this one gets a little recognition, so I put him in, because I'm so sick of Prime. And look who it is, it's Bumblebee. Wow, I'm here, guys. You sure are, Bumblebee. My models look so freaking good. It looks so freaking good. Uh, we can this and again there's so much more here i wanted I, I wanted to actually go inside now with fortress maximus because if you look inside i could build rooms put the autobots inside you know and just have a full-on battle i can't teleport so we're gonna have to squeeze this down here we have thrust this is a paul manning model again it has more of a war within he draw, he draws a lot of lines through the center because he makes half geometry and sticks them together i don't do that <clears throat> i don't do that at all i'll double up I'll double up a piece, but I won't fill, you know, the arms and stuff. But still looks good. Looks like thrust. Then over here, I was doing, I was in a dragon mood. I had done Dazaris' dragon, and then that, that's what I did. I did Skylinks, and then I wanted to do this guy. Double header. Double cross. That's his name. This geometry, I ripped off a wolf. This geometry right here, I ripped off a wolf. And I just slapped it on. A werewolf from Warcraft, I think. These feet, too. Well, these might come from it. This might come from a dragon, because you can see the texture on this, the painted texture. Those wings came from a dragon too. Anyway, um, this model I did not enjoy doing. I thought it was going to be great fun. I enjoyed doing his face and his head. Was that Dunkin' Donuts when I did it? But when it came down to doing these, which these come out, but I hated doing these. This gun has two two pieces. I never get around to. Two, there's like an H on this thing. Never get around to doing it. He's like just blasting. I found him really boring, especially in the back. He was boring, and I didn't. I did not like designing this, and it, it kind of shows because it doesn't quite doesn't quite look like the jet. It does, but it's missing some stuff. I turned it. There we are. Wait. Here we are. Uh, here we have G axis. This is a Paul Manning model. G-Axis, the evil Decepticon leader. They're all evil. But he's fighting Megastorm. This was the very first model I did. And now Megastorm's back. This is going to be the last model. I'm not going to be doing these models anymore. But Megastorm is back. I repainted his face. I fixed all his errant geometry. All of his artifacts have been removed. All of his broken geometry. <clears throat> I retooled his legs. Retooled his feet. He has boots. He has full boots now. This... What I do? I turned it sideways. Boop. There we are. I'm using the rift. I, I made his gun. His gun is complete. And then over here we have uh, Gen 2 Megatron. And then uh, where are we going? Where are we going? Sound waves here. There's a battle going on. I've made videos with that with those graphics. So oh, there's. All right. We'll shrink it then. If you that's what you want to give me a hard time for. There's supposed to be, I don't know what happened to it. Something happened, something crashed. There was a laser coming through here. I'll have to double check it. Now it's gone. It's cut off. I think there was, there was a glitch. Yeah, that's what it is. It, rec it, it assumed it was the other. I have to remove those lightning bolts before I bring that model in. 
Okay, so here we have Skyfire. So, okay, this helmet, my goggles are getting real hot. It's starting to bake my eyes, and, and that, ugh. Can't stand more than 20 minutes in this thing. Uh, let's go over to Astro Train and Blitzwing. I tried to scale them. I'm on Astro Train. If you ever wanted to get in the inside, here's the door. There's the door to Astro Train. Look how great these Decepticon symbols look. Look at that. It's like a real decal. Love it. Love it. And Blitzwing. Look at all Gen 1 accurate. For a time I was using, I'm using geometry uh, insignias. I thought they looked better. They look better in 3D programs. I tried to do a lot with my models. Okay. There's Raiden up there. And I showed you guys everything. There's Star Saber 2. Here we have Star Saber fighting Dazaris. Recently, uh, nobody throws down like these two. I'll say it again. And I, I had to, I did Star, Star Saber's Saber. V, V, Victory for the Transformer. I, I did uh, his scimitar. I did, I did uh, Desiris' scimitar. For this scene, for exclusively for this scene. They're pretty much a centerpiece. Nobody throws down like these guys. I mean, they just straight up hate each other. And uh, I can't teleport. I'll try to wrap this up real quick. Great shot. This thing took me a whole day to do. Just that. Just that. But, I mean, look at how good he looks. Great shot. Transform. I got six shot. Six shots up there. He's right there. Prime's pointing at him. And then... <clears throat> we have Laser Beak. This is a Paul Manning model. It's quite a few. He, I had to commission him. Because I couldn't, I had projects that needed these models, and I couldn't, I couldn't do it all. And then here we have Soundwave. Soundwave Superior. Got him flying in. I love this. He's, he's just flying down. And then we have, of course, <clears throat> now I'm getting sick. Right? Uh, there's stuff going on underneath the Fortress Maximus. There's like a battle. This was a space battle, so gravity didn't have any. I mean, here's, see, I love that. They don't look like cartoon cell shit anymore. They look, like, they look like paper craft. I think that's excellent. And then Raiden, I did a lot of work on Raiden. I gave this guy a lot of love. I enjoyed doing, I enjoyed doing his arms and his chest, but I did not enjoy doing the trains on the bottom because these are generic geometry. They're just pretty much squares. And, and his back was a big problem. I had a lot of, I, I didn't, I had a problem understanding his wings. This piece, I never felt I got right. It's, it doesn't, it doesn't have a cap here. But like, I had to rip off another piece of a real train. <clears throat> right here. I had to rip it off. That's, that's his foot. That's a real train piece from another model. He's got it built in here too. Uh, so, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I'll take you underneath. I mean, I, you guys have probably seen, if you're a fan of my work, you've seen this scene before. It's Galvatron. This is one of my more broken models. I was impetuous when I designed him. Wish I could go back, but I'm probably not going to. I'll show you Cyclonus. Cyclonus, the jet, the warrior. One of my favorite Transformers. So many great characters. So many great characters. A lot of love into this jet. I really enjoyed making this jet. All right. Last but not least, we have finalizing this. Well, I didn't show you a tidal wave. Upside down Ultra Magnus. No, oh, it won't let me do it. It won't let me turn it on totally upside down, but Rodimus. All the lines are still here. That's what I love. All these lines, just like a cartoon. It's upside down now. All right, let's I have blur. It's blur. I just stuck a I just stuck a random gun because I didn't have the target master. So this is what they do anyways. They turn their hands into weapons. 
That's what the Transformers used to do. Okay. Okay, now. Get down there. Oh, I can go fishing. Great. This is the model that caused all the problems. Tidal wave. It's got his big Viking beard going on. His head is a citadel. <laughs> That's what I love. Like, I'm inside of him. I started changing the way I designed him in the, at this phase. Making the eyes curved. I picked that up from Paul. So it's a good tactic. He's the one who brought in all this green electricity geometry that's screwing up this model. All right, guys, so that's it. I mean, yeah. Who knows what the future will hold for 3D models, but there's a whole new way to enjoy them in VR. I would, the only thing I would like to do is draw, an inside, draw the inside to uh, Fortress in Scorponok. It'd be cool to see their inner workings, you know, go through. Go through ah, frick go through you know this ramp and then you're inside into the elevator shaft and you come up here and then you're in this room which is fascinating see all the autobots working you know this 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 level right here can be you know one of these is the jail put some decepticons in there i i would like to do that i'll have to make a different model put this flying through space maybe the actual or fortress or whatever like i said here's six shots six shots my name Bumblebee and Prime, just a different Prime. And yeah, I think I've covered everything. So uh, I'll put the links into the description if you have VR, whether it be the Rift or the Focus. By all means, give it a shot, man. You'll enjoy it. Laters. Bye.